NVIDIA dropped three driver versions in less than a month, and gamers are reporting crashes, performance drops, and system locking freezes across all of them. There are three things you can watch forever. Fire burning, water falling, and new NVIDIA slop drivers ruining your favorite game. Thank you, NVIDIA. Well, anyway, let's start with 591.59, which breaks ASUS software and crashes Overwatch. 591.74 Game Ready tanks Battlefield performance by 25%, and 591.74 Studio supposedly fixes everything. But does it actually? I tested all three on my RTX 5070, because someone needs to figure out which one you should actually install, and what I found exposes how NVIDIA treats driver releases. But if you are a subscriber of my channel, you probably already know what I'm going to say. Let's begin with the disaster that is 591.59. Released December 18th, 2025, community reports across Reddit r slash NVIDIA and official NVIDIA forums paint a horror show. Asus Armory Crate completely broken refusing to detect GPUs. Counter-Strike 2 suffering yellow washed out colors making competitive play impossible. X-Plane with Vulcan seeing frame rates collapse from smooth gameplay down to single-digit stuttering, NVENC encoding for streamers crippled. But the inherited problems from 591.44 weren't enough. 59 introduced brand new crashes, Overwatch 2 login crashes locking me out completely, Fortnite and Stalker 2 system locking freezes requiring hard reboots, RTX 50 series cards crashing when waking, Samsung Neo G9 monitors from sleep, Windows HDR profiles failing to load on LG displays forcing rollbacks to 581.94. Yes, you heard that right, old 581 branch works, better than this slop. Reddit consensus from R slash NVIDIA and Guru 3D forums. 591.59 is worse than the already broken driver it replaced, inheriting every previous bug while adding new system crashes. The only reason anyone should touch this nightmare? Desperate need for enshrouded or dying light beast fixes. Otherwise, you're installing digital poison. So NVIDIA rushed out 591.74 on January 6, 2026, releasing two versions simultaneously, Game Ready and Studio. Surely this emergency update fixed the 5.9 disasters, right? Let me show you what Game Ready actually delivered. DLSS 4.5 with Transformer model presets sounds impressive in marketing materials, but here's what NVIDIA buried. RTX 20 and 30 series cards lose 20 to 30% performance using new DLSS settings because they lack specialized hardware for 8-bit precision math. But we still must thank NVIDIA that unlike AMD, they support old GPUs. Even RTX 40 and 50 series lose 2 to 6% in a driver marketed as a performance improvement. Higher temperatures across all GPU models, increased power draw even during desktop idle, new ghosting artifacts on moving particles, breaking visual quality, and Battlefield players documenting catastrophic performance drops on Reddit. One verified user posted before after comparisons. 160 to 180 smooth gameplay on 591.59, dropping to 120 to 140 on 574 Game Ready. Identical settings, same system specs, same resolution. 25% performance loss just from updating drivers. Black screen crashes hitting RTX 4090 cards, with multiple daily reports flooding official NVIDIA forums. Color banding persisting in games despite changelog claiming it's fixed. Call of Duty Modern Warfare suffering image corruption, destroying multiplayer matches. And here's what broke my testing on my RTX 5070. Cyberpunk 2077 stuttering during night city driving and combat, frame time spiking erratically, creating choppy, inconsistent gameplay, 1% lows tanking into slideshow territory, a game that should run flawlessly on RTX 5070 turning into a stuttery disaster. Game Ready introduced problems, didn't fix 5.9 issues, and tanked performance across multiple titles. So what about 591.74 Studio? I wiped drivers completely with DDU, clean installed Studio on my RTX 5070, loaded up the exact same games with identical settings and benchmark sequences. First test, Cyberpunk 2077, the game that stuttered horribly on Game Ready. Loading into Night City, driving through crowds, combat sequences, frame time monitoring running, and something's different. The stuttering that plagued Game Ready? Gone. Stable frame times, smooth driving, combat running like it should. This isn't a minor improvement, this is night and day difference. Ran few games total across three categories. AAA single player like Cyberpunk and Stalker 2. Yes, I know mentioning Unreal Slop and Cyberpunk in one category is weird, but whole gaming is weird in the past few years, so just accept that. Competitive shooters like Overwatch and Battlefield, legacy esports titles like Counter-Strike 2 and Fortnite. Studio delivered 1-2% to better average frame rates, but averages don't tell the real story. It's the 1% lows and 0.1% lows where you actually feel smoothness. Game Ready showed massive frame time spikes, causing visible stutters. Studio maintained rock-solid consistency with minimal variance in some games. Then I tested creator workloads because why not? Premiere Pro, Blender, DaVinci Resolve, all obviously rendered seconds faster on multi-minute exports with Studio Driver. So Studio outperforms Game Ready in gaming and professional work. How does a Game Ready driver lose to Studio in gaming performance? That makes zero sense unless you understand NVIDIA's development cycle. Game Ready drops weekly with rushed testing and minimal quality assurance. You're the unpaid beta tester finding crashes after installation. Studio runs monthly releases with extensive validation and professional QA because paying customers can't afford downtime. Unlike gamers, who can't scrape together money for a new GPU, 
due because of the memory shortage. You complain on Reddit, professionals file lawsuits and buy from competitors. Guess which one gets better testing? Your time matters less to NVIDIA than a video editor's billable hours. Before the verdict, critical hardware warnings. RTX 20 and 30 series owners face that brutal DLSS 4.5 penalty on game ready. 20 to 30% performance loss makes it unusable unless you are ready to face ultra performance mode, which actually look playable now. You need alternative options. R. T. X4090 owners seeing widespread black screen crashes on both 0.74 variants, according to official forum reports spanning multiple pages. If you're affected, you'll need rollback solutions. R. T. X50 series paired with Samsung Neo G9 Ultra Wides experienced wake from sleep crashes on 5.9. Partially addressed in 74, but intermittent reports continue. LG C1 OLED owners with RTX 50 cards had HDR profile failures on 5.9, requiring manual recalibration every boot. Claimed fixed in 74, but needs more verification reports from you. My RTX 5070 testing. Studio driver showed zero crashes across some days of heavy gaming and stress testing. Game ready produced pain in my ass. Here's my verdict after extensive testing. Skip 591.59 completely. It's universally broken beyond redemption. If you're running RTX 20 or 30 series, install 591.74 Studio or roll back to 581.80, which Reddit confirms as the last stable pre-591 branch driver. Avoid game ready entirely due to DLSS penalty. RTX 40 series owners should try 591.74 Studio first, but if black screens appear immediately, roll back to 581.94. RTX 50 series like my 5070, install 591.74 Studio. It's the most stable driver for this generation with superior frame time consistency and zero stability issues in my testing. Studio gets better QA because professionals sue when software crashes during client work. Gamers just post angry threads NVIDIA ignores, so they treat game ready as rushed beta releases and Studio as actual stable code. One caveat, Studio schedule means no day one optimizations for brand new games, but you also avoid drivers that tank Battlefield 25% or crash your system three times in four days. For my RTX 5070, I'm staying on 591.74 Studio until NVIDIA proves game ready won't break more than it fixes. I waste hours installing broken drivers and benchmarking crashes so you know which updates actually work before destroying your gaming stability. Subscribe so you never click install on NVIDIA's next rushed disaster. See you in the next one.